you have to give me a second here, Billy. I know the Mavs won, but I'm trying to compose myself. Yeah, uh, as you saw on Facebook, I just threw away thirty-four dollars and sixty-four cents on some queso that I spilled on my patio. So I'm gonna try to maintain my composure. Uh, as I as I'm trying to get over there, I'm not even mad about the queso. I'm just mad about the money that I just wasted. I could have yeah. dealt with it had I was just gonna drop it. Hell. Well, you know, you know, bad things like that happen from time to time, man. I really am sorry to know that happened. Here, here's the good news: if you're interested, I may be able to. Uh, Go ahead and toss you that $35, $36. Uh, Kevin Durant is in my DMs right now. Asked me to come. <laughs> so I'm just but trying. He wants you to come to Brooklyn? Yeah. He wants you to come, come to Brooklyn. Yeah. He's trying Wait, to with LaMarcus Aldridge? He wants me to come play right next to him. So I told him I I'm responding. I'm going to see what the numbers add up like. If we Look, we might be having queso for days, man, if this deal goes through. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. But no, uh, excited to be here tonight, man. Big win by the Mavs. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, it is. A, yeah, you damn right. That is some expensive ass queso because I had, I had the carne asada, not ground beef. I had carne asada. Yeah. See, Shane, us regular folks, all we can afford is just uh, ground beef, not even the good kind. So yeah. ours I is. Carne, ours I had the carne asada in there. You know, the the cheese itself is eight dollars. The block. You yep. see six. That's about eight dollars. Yep. The chips, uh, the Rotel, the cream and mushroom soup, all that. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it adds up real quick, man. Just, uh, I just, I'm just, I just ought to be ashamed of myself of what I did tonight. Just utterly disgusted. Can't believe I wasted all that, all that money. It happens to the best of us, man. Oh man, yeah, but the Mavericks do win tonight, Billy. Uh. They went 127 to 106. Now, at the beginning, it looked like a little bit of a struggle out there. Yeah. Uh, you know what? They, they did start off a little uh, – I'm not going to say start off slow. They just – defensively, they started off slow. Uh, okay, he was uh, staying right in there. Uh, when when I finally started really, really paying attention to the game, it was like uh, middle ways the second quarter or maybe early in the second quarter, and the game was tied. And I'm like, why are we tied up with these guys? But uh, – Oklahoma City, man, I'm starting to see it. Um, I didn't. I don't really put a lot of respect on them, but man, that's going to be a good young team, man. All those draft picks that they got coming up, that's going to be a good, uh, a good young team going forward, man. And uh, like I told you before the show started, I'm kind of a fan of the little dweeb now, man. I didn't recognize. <laughs> hey, oh, now man. you're on board. Now you're yeah, on board, huh? Play a little bit, man. You can play a little bit. Give him a couple more years, man. He he's going to be solid. Okay. And, uh, okay, so you're on board with the dweeb now. I just want to make sure I got that right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he he has a little game to him, man. He's not better than anything on our team, but, uh, you know, or, or none of our key players. But uh, he's 19 years old, man. He has plenty of room to grow. So, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey. hey man, hey, hey, dog, hey, hey, man. Listen, hey, I'm tired hey, of eating grab beef. Shane, everybody I'm, don't get it out the mud, man. Some of us, yeah, some of us are yeah. yeah, we have hey, to get hey, out the mud, man. Hey, hey, I put it to you this way: I pay my dues to get to earn that carne asada. <laughs> I pay a lot of dues for that carne asada. I pay a lot of dues for that carne asada. I deserve that carne asada. You deserve and here, it, man. Hey. <laughs> and here I am. Go, go, pick the queso up off the grill and just drop the whole thing. Uh, I held as soon as I picked up walk like that, the whole the whole pen just went just fell down. Yeah, yeah. That ain't just about it. No, it didn't even fall down. Man. The handle just just came off. Oh wow! Like it just broke, just broke the whole pen. Flop. That's unfortunate, man. That's straight funny. on the concrete. Straight on the concrete. You can't even five second rule that one, man. You can't even. I couldn't it. even five second rule. And as I'm scooping it up, I'm sitting here thinking like, nah, nah. <laughs> that was I am sitting here thinking like that's thirty four dollars. Somebody go eat this. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Somebody go eat this $34. <laughs> yeah. Dang, man. Uh-oh, here, here we go. Here, here we go, Billy. That's for you. <laughs> that, uh, what's up, Julie? That's right, for you. I just, I, well, yeah, I just tagged her in the post uh, right before this. I didn't want to bring it to her attention because she was here, Brighton. She was here right on time uh, when we lost without our star players. Uh, mind you, <laughs> but when the real when when the real ones come out to play, this is what ends up happening. But uh, you know, shout out to her, man. I, she she rides with the team. Shout out to her. 
It's all love, right. Julie. Oh, man, let's let's try to save my night and get over here to the highlights, man, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we got to do something. I, I'm I'm struggling right now. Yeah, still man. can't get a still can't get over this. Get on over here. Hey, that's a great comment by Shay. <laughs> well, you say some people got to get it out the mud. Oh, there's no, a dweeb right there. There's a dweeb yeah. right there with a put in. I see him. I see him. No, I, I thought. Did you see what Shay put on that that nice little post he put up for you? What's the hand? Oh, come on, man. Yeah. You know. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I was looking at polos earlier, and I saw a uh, a Houston one. I was like, boy, we, I said, boy, Billy will never let me make it. If I, no, if I, I, if I, I, I was like, I'm gonna buy it just because. Mm. It there's Maxi. Hey, we saw, we got to see, we get to see the uh, new edition Melly tonight. Oh, there's another three five. Yeah, that was uh, that's my first time paying attention to him, obviously, because he's on our team now. Oh, big stops on Isaiah hey, Roby, former Dallas Maverick. Yeah, I mean. Did, did you notice the little yell in there on the dunk? I like it, man. When yeah. you make, when make a big dunk, you got to yell about it. Let's go. Let's do it. That's a poster. There's our the kick door. Yeah. Kick doors. He did not have kick doors on the night. Josh Richardson. No. And here's the guy here. Tim Hardaway went for 19 tonight. Uh, a quiet 19, man. You know, he started off early in the game. I think. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We get. Look at. Would you, would you look at that? We're getting Porzingis the ball early now. Early and often. Oh, 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 I didn't see that one. Okay. I did not see that one. Yeah, he, he balled, man. It was a total team effort tonight, man. Everybody get in. Even even the young guys, the rookies, man. Got in. Well, this is a game. This is a game that you probably should want to get into. You know, one of those games. Yep. I'm looking at these just saying. Here. Just saying. Okay, Luca. Oh, nice put in by Luca. Yeah. Several big yeah. offensive rebound for Melly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a. Oh, that was that was my guy who helped me win the uh, championship. The uh, championship in 2018. I'm sorry, 19. Ty Jerome. I know that guy. I know mm -hmm. him very well. Oh, okay. Man, it was raining them down on the Mavericks tonight, it looks like. Yeah, they, they were, man. I, I tell you what, man, something I noticed about the Mavericks tonight uh, that wasn't necessarily their last game, man, the ball movement was extra crisp tonight. I mean, that ball was moving, you know, quick. Yeah, oh, these guys, look at these guys here. They just putting up threes. Like, come on, bro. That's, that's what they do. Well, but there, but here we go. Oh, I thought that was big size. Okay, Jalen Brunson got a three, got in a three X in the night. Mm, Rick, okay, coming back down court. Jeez, Tim, know. jacking up stuff. Big stuff. Tim with another three right here. Oh, Tim was hot. Oh, Tim was hot. Yep, he he was, he shot the ball pretty well tonight, man. He went through a little stretch in the uh, I want to say it was like the third quarter, man. We kind of went cold, but uh, he he made shots when we needed him to. Uh, Julie, negative, negative. I, <laughs> I, 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 I can't, res I can't respect it. I can't respect it. Yeah, because for a minute, it looked like they were about to lose to him. Oh, wait a minute, the dweeb cost up for Zikas? Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. I didn't know that. Man, I'm telling you, some some guys, man, that look just like some YMCA type dudes. You're like, man, this dude don't have no game, and you don't respect them. Poor. KP didn't respect what he was about to uh, do to him right there, and he did it. Like I said, the dweeb is actually okay, man. I got to give him credit. I, I can't just say he's not a ball player. He just he looks he super corny, but he can play the game he with basketball. step back right there. Yeah, I like that. Is that Dodo? Dodo? Even Dodo got a three tonight? Wait a minute. Okay, Dodo. Chris Dodds pass over. Oh, Dodo coming down. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Kick doors. This guy here, he he's starting to become one of those guys. I got to shoot it because I'll never know when I get the ball again. With kick doors. 
Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> he said the dweeb oh, is a Oh, okay. Man. That wasn't a dweeb that time. He said the dweeb is a bad man. <laughs> the dweeb is a bad man. <laughs> oh, he is, man. I got to give credit to him. I can't. I, look, last time I capped on his game and I said, you know, there's no way he should be scoring. Maybe oh, who, I was wait a minute. Who's this guy? Uh, I don't know who this old random guy is. Man. Oh, that's the uh, that's the other that's the other uh, uh, overseas. I mean, not overseas guy, international guy. He had uh, he lit him up for fourteen tonight. Oh, okay. Well. Him and the dweeb had were the highest scores on the team. <laughs> the dweeb, <laughs> that guy. All he need, boy. I hate to see him. I hate to see him outside of a basketball game. Well, Julie, you don't want this case, so I just had because I dropped it all over the patio. Tonight. Hey. Just ought to be ashamed of myself. You know what, man? I you know while while we're sitting here, I know we're talking basketball and everything, man, but uh I must give Ooh, Julie credit, move, man. I, I have to give her credit real quick, man. She uh she actually motivated me uh a few weeks Oh, ago. okay. Go ahead. She motivated me about a month ago to make a pot roast. Now I'm sure mom wasn't my first time making it. I'm sure it wasn't as good as the one she made, but she made one that looked so damn good on Facebook, man. I went and got motivated to make my own, and it was okay. Uh, it's going to get better with time, but uh, shout out to Julie, man. I, I didn't know she was in the kitchen. If like you that. need, if you need training, your boy got you on that. Okay, I, I need, I need to come see somebody. Yeah, I got you on that. Okay. I probably make one of the best pot roasts. I don't make a pot roast. I don't make it pot pot roast. I'm probably the uh, best uh, roast maker. One of the one of the best in Dallas. Yeah. It's top of the line. Oh, okay. There you go, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a, a good old pot roast, man. Yeah. Julie had me fired up after I watched that one she had. I was like, man, I got to go on and get in there. Yeah, most people make theirs with uh, potatoes and carrots. I don't do mine with carrots and potatoes. Well, that's all the way to do it, man. I do mine with onion and bell pepper. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll mix some of that off in there or whatever. But to just go without carrots and potatoes, man, that's, that's, that's un-American. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I like mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. I'm a mashed potatoes guy. I'm a big time potato mashed potatoes guy. Oh, okay, there you go. I'll eat. I'll eat mashed potatoes with almost anything. Yeah, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, a lot of, we got some young guys on the court tonight. Yeah, getting a lot. Uh, Shane is really excited about Josh Green, uh, who who played well tonight. Man, he he in the limited minutes he had, man, he came out there got a couple steals. Uh, got a couple of dunks. I think back to back possessions got steal and dunk. So, uh, shout out to Josh Green, man, making the most of his opportunities. Right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And uh, Hen played well tonight. Uh, you know, I, I saw my man Dwight Powell step step back and knock down a three tonight or whatever. I've been waiting for that. What? Pass. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Get over here and take a look at this. Dwight Powell did what? Dwight Powell uh, had a three. Towards the end what? of the game. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, nice, little, nice little uh, ball fake and uh, sidestep and hit a three. You lied to me, though. No, not at all. Not at all. He doesn't get that many opportunities to shoot the ball like that. I've seen Dwight, start, Dwight Powell step out and hit threes before. You might have, but I'm just saying, you know. Tonight was just that night they played against OKC. Okay, everybody. They got in the game, played well. Trey Burke, uh, Hidden got in the game. Like I said, Dwight Powell gave you some numbers. Kick Doors got his. Uh, Benny Smith got his. Luca KP. Melly got in, got some points. Maxie got points. Everybody that got in the game, played well. Well, let's take it. Well, since you say that, let's take a look at the numbers and see what we got. As we look it up here. Take you off the screen for a second there, Shane. Oh, okay. Where do we start? Up top. Big stops. Chris stops. Your guy. Your guy. 20 points and nine rebounds. Almost a double double tonight. Billy, talk to me. What's going on there? I uh, played a good game, man. Just uh they they were better than OKC. I mean, I, I can take this type of game because he didn't get a chance to play really the end of the third quarter. I don't think he touched the floor in the fourth quarter at all. So the game was in hand. And uh, gave him a rest, man. I mean, I think if he was playing a full game, I mean, you know, he, he would have gave me more. So I'm not, a, I'm not upset. Porzingis came in, played well offensively, and he played well defensively, man. I mean, had a couple of key block shots. Uh, 
And then, uh, you know, he's always contesting shots at the basket, making it difficult for the other guys um, on the on the other team to score inside. So, you know, Porzingis, I tell you, his value can't just be measured in what he does offensively, man. He's, he's a force offensively, but he can also be a force defensively as a rim protector, man. And I, I don't think people give him enough credit for blocking shots and changing shots at the rim the way he does, man. He's pretty good at it. Uh, also, uh, your nephew, Luca, gave you 25 tonight. Uh, you know what, man? I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you are, something. You, you are feeling his 25 nights, what it yeah, sounds like. Say something that's going to be kind of critical here, man. Oh, uh, wait you, a minute, man. I wait a minute. Hold on. I wasn't impressed tonight by Luca, man. I what? don't know what to say. I wasn't impressed. It, it was, it was like a dare I say a, a quiet twenty five. I mean, he hit a couple of shots back to back, but it wasn't that game where Luca just really put his 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 fingerprints all over it. It was just like a, it was almost like a pickup game the way I saw them playing out there. It wasn't like he was really being defended by anyone real hard or whatever. I just thought he kind of eased into the game and, you know, he made plays when it was necessary, but, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I say this, I think I was more impressed with KP's 20 than I was Lucas 25. Mm. Okay. I just think KP played a better overall game, uh, than Luca did. It's not to say Luca played bad, but I mean, just, you know, I, I just I, I think I put a little more value in what I saw from KP tonight than what I do from Luca, or what I did from Luca on this given night. Scary Luca Luca got laid last night. That's from uh, Bobby Jones. Hey, he, it, it's he, possible, man. He looks sluggish out there, man. If I'm not, you know, he made play. He's just that good of a player to where he can kind of come in and get his. But he didn't look like he was playing with much energy tonight. He just looked like he was kind of like there. Maybe he didn't kind of like. Kind of like like the other night when he was playing, you're we like, oh, what is wrong with him? Was that Minnesota? Yeah. And he is Minnesota game until like the end of the second quarter. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dodo. Always good to have 25, though. Dodo gave you 12 tonight, Billy. Uh yeah. It hit threes, man. I saw him get to the lane. Uh, he didn't. He didn't look afraid to shoot the ball. Uh, he shot it uh, with confidence. Uh, he played well defensively. Um, made some plays, man. I mean, again, you know how I feel about it, man. If we can get to twelve with Dodo, man, that's a good. That's a good game. That's a good game. Given where he is, we don't necessarily run plays for him. For them, I just think you know he, he did well tonight, man. Twelve points from uh, Finney Smith is. It's okay for me. Anything past that is exceptional. But if he can give me 12 points tonight, man, that's the, I'll take that. Uh, Melly can start for all I care. No more Dwight Powell, please. Oh, come on, man. I don't know why the Dwight Powell hate so strong, man. Melly can play, though, man. He can play. Well, let's kick up the uh, hate a little bit because Kick Doors only gave you nine tonight. Yeah. What's going on there? I, wasn't, I mean, he only shot the ball. He didn't shoot the ball all that much either. I mean, so I'm not down to three. I mean, a couple of shots went in and out. The thing with him is, like I said, you can't measure his production by what he's doing scoring wise. We got to get out of that with the Mavericks. Everybody has to be scoring in order for it to be a good night. No, I mean, certain guys are not here to score. That's not what he's here to do. People want him to score, but that's not his. His job is to come in and play defense and defend and make it very, very difficult for the other team's best player, best guard. I'm sorry. Uh, to get going. That's his job is to make it very difficult on them. If he can give you 15 points a night outside of what he's doing defensively, it's a great game for Josh Richardson. I don't know why people have this expectation that he's supposed to give you 20 points or, you know, if, if he only has nine or 10, like tonight was a bad game. No, he played well. And, and considering the fact that everybody else on the team scored and did well, I mean, he gets lost in the sauce, man, really. We just need him for his defense. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I want to hear what you have to say about this guy. Maxi gave you six points tonight and played 21 minutes. Talk to me there. Chat me up. Chat me up on what happened to Maxi tonight. Nothing. Man, nothing. He just, he just, you know, his game and Maxi, like I told you the other day, he is uh, one of those guys uh, that, you know, his role on this team is to play good defense. Uh, you know, he's very versatile defensively, can guard different matchups. Uh, and knock down the three the three point shot. I mean, uh, 
that's his game. Guys got to create for him. But tonight just wasn't the night that he even got uh, those same opportunities that he did the other night. Obviously, when KP and Luke aren't playing, you're going to get more opportunities. But his job is just to spot up, man. Spot up, uh, play good defense, and when the ball comes to you, you get an open look, shoot it, and, and knock it down, man. And, you know, that, that's his game. And so though his consistency in terms of scoring is going to kind of be a little flaky. It's going to be 14 one night when he hits four or five threes, and then uh, the next night it might be, you know, eight. But notice he's always on the floor because uh, – uh, because he's he's a guy that can cover different matchups and play well defensively, can get down there and help with the rebounding. So, uh, not upset with Max and Kleber at all tonight. Not well, let's talk about my let's talk about my guy, somebody who I'm very proud of tonight, somebody who who capitalized on an opening tonight. Uh, that big THJ Tim Hardaway Jr. gave me 19 tonight, Billy, and he yeah. played 21 minutes. He almost had a point for every minute he was on the floor. Yeah, I mean, that this this is who he is. I mean, he can. He can light it up and score for you when you need him to. Uh, when we give him the opportunity, man, he's he's uh he's a uh, uh what do you call it? He's a uh he's not a scorer, he's a volume shooter. And uh he's when a, he's on he's, he's a on. he's a six man he's a six man over here. That's what he is. He's yeah, a six he, man for the team. He is, he is. He has the ability to go off and everything, but uh, you know, he give you that or whatever, and uh uh he – you know, you can hit big shots, man. When he gets rolling, it's a good, it's a beautiful situation for you. Uh, he gave us thirty the other night, so he he's doing what he does. He's doing what THG, THJ does, man. He he's he's scoring when we ask him to, and uh, you know, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. Today was an up night. Uh, t- tonight was an up night uh, for THJ. Chris, Chris Cash say Tim Hardaway better come back next season as the sixth man because if JJ takes. Uh, Trey Burke spot, I'm going to laugh. Uh, well, it's going to be hard to convince Tim to take a pay cut and come off the bench. That's going to be really hard. Oh, man. I don't know. That's going to be really hard to do. I don't know if there's a market for him like that out there in the NBA. I mean, I'm sure guys like shooters and stuff, but he's not going to get the money that I think he he believes he's going to get. And, and he's with the Mavericks. They got a nice young nucleus, man. He might as well stay here. Now, ultimately, I mean, if you want to go get your money, go get your money. That's cool. But, I mean, this team is young and upcoming, man. So, I, you, know, you, know where, you, know, you know where he's going. One or two places, Billy, where everybody else is going. Either going to L.A. or Brooklyn. Which one? He's not that, he's not that type of guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. See, you got to keep in mind, T.S.J. comes from that old school – he has that old school uh, uh, philosophy behind him with his dad and stuff. He's not he's not built like these other guys who just want to run and, and tag team and and, and, uh, and just say they were part of a team. Yeah, that, uh, he's not that guy. Uh, okay. All right. I, I can respect that. I can respect that. I can respect that. You get a lot of hearts on the uh in the in the group chat here for what you're saying right now. Hey, Papa Hardaway. Hardaway ain't going for that, man. Papa Hardaway would have never went and joined Jordan. He wanted to beat Jordan. Well, you know what? It's funny. I talked to Pops last – was it last season I talked to Pops? He came to the games a lot, and I talked to him a lot after the game. So I, I kind of get what you're saying. He, he's very, he's very uh, uh, happy for his son. He's very uh, – he loves his son's play. He's all that. He's good. He's, yeah. he, he's happy here. Yeah. I know, yeah. Exactly where his seat, I know exactly where his seat is at in the AAC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly where it's at, you know. Know exactly where it's at. You know, you remember we had a jersey for Tim at one point, and Tim for Tim Hardaway. We had yeah, a jersey for him at one point. Yeah, we, had, yeah, we yeah, gave him a jersey. We gave him a jersey at one point. We sure did, and he played well while he was here, man. Yeah, but see those those guys like that, man. Like I say, they come. They're just they're just breeded different, man. Their their mindset is different. You know, you can look at THJ, man. He's not. He's not skilled like Kevin Durant or you know these these other guys, James Harden. He's not skilled like them. But what he, what he has that I don't feel like they have or that he shows more than they do is hard. He wants to – like, he has dog in him. Kevin Durant, not so much. You know, James Harden, not so much. These guys, they're oh, just – Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on there. Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just what telling you. Doing? you I don't even know why you're coming from my guy like that. Why you come from my guy like that? Skill is skill. There's a lot of – everybody in the NBA is skilled to do it something. You hear my guy, you hear my guy say it? Do you hear my guy said when they asked him about the MVP? Said I am the MVP. Uh, that's, that's now deal with, now deal with that. 
of the regular season. Did. Of the regular season. That's, that's, <laughs> you, you, put a, you put a game six, uh, elimination game six or elimination game seven on it. <laughs> shooting three. You know what, man? You ought to quit, man. You ought to quit. Hey, the truth is out there. So what's the area code up, uh, up there in Brooklyn? I might have to start claiming. What's that, 718-917? I don't know what they got going on up there. <laughs> the start, I to start repping the 718. <laughs> If, if you keep your phone, you keep your phone on long enough, Kevin Durant, he'll give you a call for the end of the night. <laughs> okay. Daddy, want me to go to Brooklyn? He wants to go down in Brooklyn, man. He's collecting. He's calling everybody. He hasn't got off the phones yet. You know, yeah, they say he's still at that call instead of working. They say he is. <laughs> he put it overtime. He like, at <laughs> that call center. Or they say he got him on a, Billy, Hey, Billy, they say they got him on an automatic dial up there. Man, hey, at, the, at that office, he, ooh, that boy, KD, he working overtime. Hey, they yeah, say. You know what? what? They say, they, they say, Katie, where you, where you at? He say, I'm hurt. He said, he said, no, nah, I'm just at work. I got y'all when I get, I come see y'all when I get out of work. Hey, that's it. He putting in that overtime. I tell you what, he just, I know we're talking Mavericks and everything, man, but I'm really, really disappointed. It's not so much a KD, but just, I'm just you know, what how it is right now, man. It's just, it's what do you corny, mean? Man. It's what do you mean? Nobody wants to compete anymore, man. It's, it's they don't want to compete. No, they don't want to compete, man. These boys don't want to yeah, compete. They, do. they they want to be buddy buddy and slap asses and ride on, on banana boats. <laughs> These guys don't want to compete, man. They don't want to compete. What makes you say that? Man, listen. You know how much man, you know how much more fun and exciting the NBA would be, man, if you had LeBron with the Lakers and and A D was with a young Hornets team, you know, that you know and, and 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 you can look at him and say, "Oh man, AD is the man in New Orleans. LeBron is the man in LA, or you know, if he was still up in Cleveland, whatever. Kyrie and all these guys, man, there would be more parity in the league. But right now, this stuff, we've never seen anything like this, man. As soon as these guys buy out, they're just okay. I'm going to go join Brooklyn. I'm going to go to LA. Like, dude, like all these other teams, like you're just going to." You don't even have enough spots. You don't even have enough. Yeah, because they know they know that right now those are the two teams going to the finals. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So nobody wants to try to knock them off. Y'all just want to all go join the same teams. Well, no, nah, cool. because it's only because it's only for one year. That's why. These guys should be saying themselves, man. I, the, the heart of the NBA. That's why I never have a problem with what Shaq says. I never have a problem with what Chuck say. These guys, man, they don't have no heart, man. They 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 want to go play with each other and all that different type of stuff, man. Barkley wanted to beat Jordan's head in. Jordan wanted to beat Isaiah Thomas and those boys' head in. That like they competed. You knew every year in the playoffs there was going to be some real competition. Nowadays in the playoffs, nobody's going to watch. You know why? Because everybody knows that Lakers are going to be whoever the hell they run through, and Brooklyn's going to run through everybody in the East. You know, and. Uh-huh. That's not necessarily, it. not necessarily. Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn has a problem playing out. They like they still not gonna be able to stop Joel and beat Dwight Howard if they, if they just wanted to put those two on the floor, they would, they would still tear Brooklyn apart because Brooklyn can go on uh, scoring droughts like where they won't score at all. Yeah, I you mean, know, I, Kyrie, 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 and uh, James Harden look good right now, but let's see what happens when you drop KD in and he got to get his points too. And then you got a young coach who's never been there before. Like, that's or not a young coach, but a, a guy who's, you know, never really been there like that before. So I don't think I don't think adding LaMarcus Aldridge makes them that much better. He he's he's he there's a reason uh San Antonio got rid of him. We should have asked our friend Carolina Teague, man, uh what was going on out there. Remember, we did. We did. We did yeah, ask yeah. Carolina. Yeah, she said that they're not really big fans of uh, uh, Lamarcus Aldridge down there. Yeah, yeah, they're not. He didn't. He didn't fit with them. Like you know, he didn't fit with them at all. He didn't fit with them one bit. But you know, I mean, I still don't think. I still don't think that makes uh that makes what's name any any deeper to me, honestly. Yeah, you're probably right. To me, it doesn't. Yeah, that's just me. Um, where do we leave off at? Tim Hardaway. Jalen Brunson gave me nine points tonight. What's that? 
What's that do for a second best player on the roster, as we've been told by certain people? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that on Twitter, you want to get over there and follow that account? I don't know, man. I mean, oh, I don't know what's up with Jalen Bronson lately, man. I mean, I don't know. I can't really even put my finger on it. It's not like he's playing bad, but he's not playing at that level he was playing before, for sure. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll find out something. But he, you know, he's shifty around the rim, man. He plays hard. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll uh, catch fire again and start being, you know, that guy. But uh, right now, man, Jalen Brunson. Now, I'm not gonna say he's in a slump, but I mean, he's just, you know, maybe they're asking him to do something a little different now. So I, I don't know. Hopefully, he returns back to what we had before. Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, I've been waiting here to see who is the uh, who got the championship tonight. Uh, I have not gotten word on who who got the belt tonight in the locker room. Let's see if they. Uh... Oh, we do have it. We do have it right here. Hold on. We do have it. We got a champion. We have we have a new champion. Yeah. I'm wondering. Are you are you ready for this, Billy? Yeah, it, what if it's a whole new guy, man? You said what now? Yeah, what if it's the new guy? What if it's what if it's metal? Oh, it's not the new guy. It is a man who has been who has been wrong. But we had to we had to sit down and discuss discuss if he's has beef with his tag team partner. Billy, I present to you the two oh, I'm sorry, three time, three time. Champion, uh, the offensive champion right here. Big stops, poor Zingas. Ah, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that Big that, stops that, 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 hey, you know, that look says you know what it is. That's what that look says. Big stops. You see that right there, Billy? That's that I do look see. It, it looks like that's that look like you know what it is. Hold on, you gotta find me a charger. My uh, my headphones about to die. Thought I charged them up last night. Oh, here we go. Big stop, sports Zingas, right there. That's who's the champ, baby. And I and I gotta be honest with you, Billy. It's well deserved. It is well deserved. Yeah, I told you, man. He, he's he's doing things on the defensive end, man. That I don't think a lot of people will put time to. If you get upset when he doesn't hit a three, or if he misses an easy shot, but on the other end, man, he 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 changes things at the basket. Go ahead to the comments real quick. Man, if you watch the game and you watch him protect the ball. Probably KB. It could probably KP. Honestly, look at Shane called it. He played defensive. He played very well defensive tonight. Yes, he did. I got to agree with Shane. Shane is correct. He's very, he's very correct. Yeah. Hey, I got, I got uh, Chris. Chris is right, man. Uh, Brunson's playing his role well. When he turns it over, it kills everything. I have noticed he's been kind of turning that thing over a little bit. Uh, hopefully he can shake that real quick because that's not something that we need. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely correct. It's not. It is not, man. So I'm happy for big stops uh, over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta, we gotta finish this up real quick before they, before we get to the uh, post game uh, interviews. Uh, Josh Green gave you four points tonight. Yard guy the White Pal gave you seven. Trey Burke gave you six. Uh, Nikolai Melly, we saw him make his debut tonight. What do you got to yeah. say about him, Billy? Uh, you know, I don't really know much about the kid or whatever. I mean, he he, he came in. I tell you what, uh, he popped on my screen. Uh, I'm not going to say he was out there just dunking all over people or whatever, but he had a couple of uh, – I think Shane had saw it or meant, made mention of it earlier. Had a, a couple of uh, key offensive rebounds. He was very he was very active. Put it like that. He's a high-energy guy. He was very active. Uh, he, was, he was all on the offensive glass, you know, tip outs, getting his hands on the ball. Uh, even defensively, and then you know he scored a couple of buckets, got a couple of easy layups. Uh, you know, hey, you know, welcome to Dallas. Welcome to Dallas. We we welcome energy and and uh, and uh, 
you know, that, that, that type of player here. So shout out to him, man. I was very impressed with him uh, given he had limited minutes. But, uh, you know, he came in and made the most of his time there. He made plays while he was on the floor. Uh, is JJ going to help? Uh, uh-huh. Listen, let me tell you something. Is JJ going to help? Now, I've already warned Billy of this, guys. Uh, he, he doesn't want to believe it, but here we go, okay? The next time you go to the AAC and you see JJ's red name is playing, I want you to bring an umbrella or a raincoat because it's going to be raining threes inside the arena, okay? I need you to get ready. I don't want you guys to come in there and, yeah. and, and it's raining threes and you get hit with one of the basketballs or whatever. I want you to be prepared, okay? I need you to get you a, a, a poncho uh, or an umbrella or something when you come in the AAC Listen, when this guy this is guy, on the floor. This guy, I, I, I like the J.J. Reddy pickup, man, but what's up with getting somebody that's not even – we don't even know when he's going to hit the floor, man. Like, they're talking about his heel. And come on, Billy. Heel. Come on, Billy. We're just saving him. We're saving him for right now. We don't want to hit them all with, the, with our weapons. Oh, okay. We don't want to hit them all at one time. We don't want to hit him all at one time. Just give it a second. Well, we won't be depending on him all the time, so we need to give him his time now. Oh, when the play when the playoffs come around, ooh, boy, them three is gonna be, them three is gonna be, ooh, it's gonna be so wet in that arena, boy. Okay. They're gonna have him mopping the floor every every second. Like, why so? This player slipping all over the place. It's, it goes, oh, that boy JJ Reddick just got off the court. Is what they gonna say? Uh, That's why I went after the floor. We gonna see. I, I told you. First game, he's going one seven, and everybody's going. You, to you know what? You know what? You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop this right now. You need to stop this right now. You need to stop this right now. Look at Shane. Look at Shane with the umbrella. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. Y'all okay. make me see. <laughs> yeah. okay. and I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I need to invest in the umbrella. Bobby, jo- Bobby Jones said he's right. He says I'm right. He know, he knows what's getting ready to happen. He knows hey. what's about to happen to the AAC. Hey. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, if he if he's in there knocking out shots, I'm all for it. I'm all for oh, it. Oh, my guy Barry, my guy Barry uh, Grogan has joined us. Good, uh, good, very hard Dallas Maverick fan right here. Okay. We'll see about the raining threes. We'll see JJ Reddick. Yeah, you damn right. You gonna see him in the playoffs, and that's when the rain is really gonna start coming down. I already told Billy and Tobosh when I come to the AAC, I have I have my uh my raincoat on or uh, a hoodie or something just to protect me. Hey. For what's about to happen? We're hoping for the best. Well, Rick Carlisle took the podium. Uh, he's ready to go. We got him queued up, Bill. Let's hear what your coach had to say. All right, coach, I will let you start. If you'd like, and then we'll go into questions. Yeah. Uh, first half, you know, was a bit disjointed. Um, our first quarter was okay. Second quarter was not was not very good. Um, second half, I thought we played to our level and our capabilities um, against a team that's undermanned, but uh, very well coached, uh, still skilled, um, hard playing, uh, all those kinds of things. So, you know, we're able to take care of business. Um, Porzingis got the uh, defensive belt largely because of his work. Uh, keeping Moses Brown off the boards. Brown had 19 rebounds in the first half of the last game against Boston. And I think he only had five in the first half and nine for the game. And so uh, KP also was, uh, did a great job around the rim. And then, uh, you know, to me, you know, the the other player of the game was, was Dorian Finney Smith plus 32 and in 27 minutes. So, uh, you know, we had some good performances and a much needed win. Brad. Yeah, Rick, in, in uh, recent games, you've mentioned there have been periods of ball sticking. Did you see a lot less of that tonight? I mean, 30 assists. Uh, yeah, there, there was. There was. Um, look, we, we didn't play particularly well in the second quarter. Um, I'd have to look at the whole quarter and, you know, to get really um, into detail about it. But, but overall, I thought, you know, there was a, a lot of very good offensive stuff. It's 127 points in an NBA game. Um, you know, you're moving it pretty good. And 30 assists is, you know, that's a that's a damn good number. Kevin Gray. And good evening, Coach. How comfortable did Porzingis look on both ends of the floor? You talked about some of the things he was doing as far as holding Brown as far as the rebounds concerned, but how did he look on both ends of the floor in your mind? That was great. I don't like the word comfortable. 
um, because I think you have to have a, a certain edge when you play in an NBA game. And I thought he had it tonight. I thought he was, his reads on offense were terrific. You know, he mixed in uh, long range shot making with cuts and drives and, you know, defensively he was a force in there and, uh, and he was a ball mover, a movement maker tonight too, which is really important to our team. So, um, you know, hats off to him, terrific performance. And, uh, you know, we're going to need more of the same here coming up on this trip. Isaac Harris. Yeah, Rick, in regards to Josh Green, how would you describe his progression this rookie season? I just – I see gradual, steady improvement. Um, you know, I looked at his minutes uh, last night from the Indiana game. Um, even though the score slid when he was in there, you know, he was doing good things. So I wanted to give him another run tonight. Um, and he earned, you know, he earned his minutes tonight. Um, uh, you know, he was, uh, what was he here? You know, he did a, did a good job when he was out there. So, you know, I like his activity. Um, the defense is good. He's one of our best, uh, rebounders and crashers. And, you know, in this kind of a season with this density of games, guys like him coming in that are, you know, low mistake, high energy guys, um, can help us. Uh, Davide from Italy. Hey, Coach. My question is about Nico Melli. Uh, what did you see from him in, from him in his first minutes uh, with the Dallas Mavericks? Very impressed. You know, I, you know, the 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 thing with him is, you know, um, thing that I was uncertain about. You know, can he play both four and five positions? Um, can he guard? You know, some at the four position. You know, I've seen him do it at the five. Um, he played the four tonight very, very effectively. Um, he was ready. You know, he made he made terrific plays. You know, he made loose ball plays. He had shot making. He had situations where he drove it and made a play and got a guy a shot. Um, you know, very good performance. Guy's a very skilled player, and he's obviously ready to play. We'll do one more, Ian. Hey, Coach, on a night like tonight when you guys get up big there late, how important is it to get those guys at the end of the bench, those extended minutes, and what does that do for your team? Well, it does a couple things. It gets those guys some experience, which they need, um, and it allows our, you know, higher minute guys to have some much needed rest during a season where, you know, there's essentially four games a week, you know, on average, so. Um, a lot of good things happen really because of the way we played the third quarter and carried it into the fourth quarter. All right. Thank you, coach. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, there you have it right there, Billy. Did you hear your coach? <laughs> he seemed very proud of his team tonight. Yeah, as well he should be. I mean, these guys played well tonight. Uh, everybody that he put on the floor contributed in some way. Uh, was it just scoring? It was defense. Uh, he gave uh, credit to uh, KP, who, I, like I said before, man, it's it's, it's not all about scoring. Uh, he's seven three. You got to use that length, and, or seven two, seven three, whatever. You have to use that length around the rim to block shots, affect shots, to detour passes. Uh, he, he he really really played a complete game tonight. Like that's why I said earlier, even though Luca finished as the team. Uh, uh, leading scorer, I felt like um, KP had a more productive overall game because of how he played and uh, what he brought to the team and the energy and everything like that. And I'm telling you, that type of thing can can you can sustain with that. You keep in mind, people always talk about you're in a game as long as you can shoot threes and stuff. That's fine, but you know what? You're also in a game where you can get stops. When you got guys out there who can go and get stops, and you can string together three, four stops uh, against, you know, a team that can score. Not saying OKC is that team, but you're going to run into Portland's and the Clippers and Lakers and, you know, the Nuggets and Jazz. You're going to have to run to those teams. You're going to have to find ways through the course of the game to uh, not only score, but stop them from scoring on two, three, four straight possessions. And uh, playing with KP in the middle like that gives you the best opportunity. I well, I'm glad you bring – I'm glad you bring up the name KP because guess what? I want you. I want you to understand. I want you to enjoy this next video because 
my guy didn't just do this interview. I'm talking about KP. He didn't just do this interview. He bought some hardware with him to this interview uh, uh, in, in, in this press conference. I want you to pay very close attention to what's over his shoulder, Billy. Yeah, my guy, All right, we will start with Kevin Gray. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, KP, uh, congratulations on the defensive player of the game showing the belt off I see there. Uh, <laughs> how good did you feel on both ends of the floor? It seemed like you were doing a lot of things in terms of the variety of the game, but also defensively playing well. How did you feel out there tonight? Well, good, felt good. Um, just played my game again. Uh, got got involved early. Uh, got some good looks, knocked them down. Played, played within the uh, rhythm of the game, and and my teammates found me. That's it, simple. All right, Brad Townsend. Hey, KP, uh, I've lost count of how many times this year you've said uh, you guys play at your best when you're moving the ball. Was uh, tonight a good example of that, a 30 assists, five for the Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 we have those moments, you know, we have moments where we do it and then we don't, but it's, it's how it is. It's, it's, it happens like that, you know, guys, guys are, you know, trying to do their best and score the ball and do, you know, play, play for the team, whatever. It's, it's just how it goes. You know, we want to try to keep it moving as much as we can. And sometimes even when you do move the ball, just, you know, get a great look, open look, it doesn't go in. It's okay, you know. So we just want to we wanna try to focus on that and, and try to play our best basketball. All right, uh, Corey. Hey, KP. How you doing? But during the game, we saw the, like, before, uh, we saw the, um, the ball moving beautifully. Everyone looking for the right offensive play, not selling for the first available shot. You know, just a total overall great effort. So what were you seeing out there tonight that made it look so easy? Um, I think, I think you know, okay, she was a team that, um, for, for example, the moments when, we, when they had our, their five men on, you know, we tried to involve him. Into the into the offense, you know, putting him in in the pick and rolls and 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 just try to utilize what, what we what we see out there, what we what, what they give us out there, you know. And uh, I think we did a in, in, in some moments of the game, we did a really good job. And then defensively, we uh, we could have been better at some moments. You know, they were just driving us, and maybe we we should have had the second help, and then and then just. Uh, scramble out of that, but we didn't do that. So, but with, 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 with you know, overall our, our our performance as a team was 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 decent. But we know there are a lot of things that we could have done better tonight, and we're gonna focus on that and, and try to grow from this game. All right. Any other questions for KP? All right. Appreciate it. Thank All you right. guys. Yeah. Now, uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. Does it count if a reporter brings up the ball movement instead of him this time? Uh, it, it all goes in the same. It all falls on the same umbrella. Uh, well, I mean, he didn't bring it up. Truth. Usually, when he brings, usually when he brings it up, we know what he's doing. You know, he's taking that little jab uh, here at uh, at somebody. Well, I well, don't even think it's necessary to take jabs anymore. We just understand what it is. Get KP the ball. Involve him in the game early. Win basketball games. It's that simple. Just like I told you the other night, play your guys, win basketball games. Get KP involved early, get him shots, get him going, win basketball games. Simple. Do you see uh, Shane's comment here? He said, Luke and KP don't like each other. I've been seeing the sentiment on Reddit, and it's hilarious. Now, you know, last week in the studio, I had to do some investigative reporting, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, I had to get in there and, and really look at some things right here. And, you know, I came to the conclusion that there is some beef and some rift uh, between these two. And, you know, I still see the same uh, sentiment in this game, Billy, that I've been seeing. You know, they're not talking to each other. You know, they're passing each other on the floor, not really high-fiving each other. You know, when they're sitting down, they're not talking to each other. So there's still there's still some uh, some beef going on there. I mean, me personally, I mean, uh, they, you know, they don't have to like each other. I, I, I don't and, and, and that's and this guy here and, and, and uh, Bobby is saying what you what you said. They got to figure it out. They need to figure it out. Yeah, they, they they're stuck do, with each other. I I do, but I think it's more of a, a thing 
that we're putting a lot of attention into. And, you know, I think when you're in the locker room, man, you're not worried about if you like the guy next to you or whatever, man. When you hit that floor, it, it's about winning basketball games. I tell you this much. If Lucas sees KP wide open for a game winner, he's going to give it to him, and vice versa. They oh, oh, hold on. Well, hold on, now, because we see we seen only uh, on the past, you know, that's what started. That's what that's where this beef might have started. You know, they were running down the court, and KP was looking for the alley oop, and he gave it to somebody else. And KP, they say KP was livid about that situation. You know, and then we see it the next. Then we see it the next game. They came down court, and he threw alley oop. Uh, KP thought he was getting it, but it went to the white pal. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I mean, for me, for me, just being an observer of the game and somebody's just watching from the outside looking in, I do want to see those guys play well. It would be great to see the the camaraderie, some some high fiving and all that different type of stuff. But it, at the end of the day, I don't think it ultimately affects the way they play. I mean, they all want the ball. They all want to be the score. Luca feels like he's the best player on his basketball team. KP's like on his way in like hey before you were even in the league i was the next big thing i just got derailed by injuries and if we think about it it's the truth so you're dealing with like i say you're not dealing with the you know how we had okc with kevin durant and what <coughs> russell westbrook everyone knew katie was a better player but when am i gonna ready. when am i gonna see kp and luca hanging out together in the streets billy that's what i need to know when am i gonna see it they can hang in the streets and suck. It doesn't. We matter. got. They got to build. They got to build camaraderie. They don't have camaraderie. They need to build they, they camaraderie need to build on that bas on that basketball court. That's why I need. Well, to that's what I'm saying. That's why you see what they're doing on the outside. Well, you need to because that's how you feel. You got to hang with your tag team partner. Okay, me and you kick it. We're tag team partners. Yeah, I mean, you know, but we're, but you, you know, but we've never. You think come this show? You think, the show we, you think the show would be uh, as successful as it is? It's so successful that they're talking about that there's talks of a Cowboys post game show in the yeah, Cowboys season. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But you see what I'm saying? The chemistry between me and but outside of this, you know, you come over here and watch Mark Manish, you might come over here and, and get your hair cut, whatever. But we yeah. hang out with each other. That's why yeah. we're able. I know how to play off of you and everything. You know how to play off of me. That's because we built the chemistry already. Right, right. Understood. If we <laughs> didn't hang out together like that, we we wouldn't we wouldn't have be taking this post game show to the heights that it is. And yeah, somebody yeah. just said that's true. I mean, I get it. And my thing is, man, I mean, maybe these guys will put it together. I just, you know, at the end of the day, you guys are getting paid a lot of money to play uh uh <laughs> you get paid a lot of money to play. I basketball. didn't say they had to be I didn't say they had to be friends. I said they need to build uh camaraderie, they need to build chemistry. And the only way you're gonna get there is if you hang out with somebody on a regular. I don't need them to be buddy, but I need them. I need Luca to know what KP is getting ready to do before he does it. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what I said. Time. And you're only yeah. going to get that if you hang out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and then KP's got to be on the floor, too. I mean, that that's just, you know. KP okay, all right, all right, all right. Shots fired. You want to take oh, shots no, fired? No, yeah, okay. I'm just saying, it's the truth. I mean, KP's been out. I mean, think about it. Since Luca took off last year, even when him and uh, KP were playing well, because nobody was saying this last year. When him and KP were out there playing well together, they were taking up for each other in the Clippers game and all that. So it's not like it's not like they were they just never vibed with each other. It's just Luca. I personally think Luca's probably gotten upset knowing that KP's not available as much as what he well, probably. Hold would on, be. hold on. Let me address Barry. Barry, let me explain something. To you. I've been in the locker room with them too. KP locker on one room and Lucas locker on the other room. <laughs> on, on the other side of the room. Okay, when KP goes to his locker, Luke goes to his locker. They don't speak to each other. They don't say. They don't say anything. Else. I'm telling you, I've been around these two. I'm, they only talk to each other on the court. They don't even warm up together. But but, but you're doing. You're basing that off of a couple of times when you're in the locker room, man. But there, there, there's four. There, there's I was in the locker room for two seasons. There's I've been in the locker room. For, I've been in the locker room for two seasons. I mean, I I don't I don't know, man. I I don't. I, I don't buy into all that. Oh, you know we're not. I right told you. Look at LeBron and AD. They are they are at each other's house. They are hanging out. They know it. LeBron and AD. Le, all LeBron teammates. He is cool. Him and D Wade. He goes and hangs out with him. He learns his his teammates. But but that, that's LeBron, but that's the type of guy LeBron is. LeBron's been that way since the very beginning, man. I mean that's what and he know he knows that he need in order for him to make it work. 
I got to I got to learn my other guys around me. I got to know how they work. Go build that chemistry. I mean, I mean Lucas, yeah. Lucas Young, he ain't gonna understand that right now. But when he get older, he's gonna look back and say, damn, you know what? Maybe I should have, maybe I should have uh spent more time when I got to know him a little bit better before before yeah, we, we broke mean, up. He, he's 22, man. I mean, we gotta give him time. K hell, KP's not that much older. KP's what like 24? I mean, they're both young guys. 24, they're both, 25. They're both doing their own thing. I feel like they need each other because they're both young. KP feel like I'm I'm a dog by myself. Lucas a dog by himself. We, don't we need, need to get yeah. We need to get we need to get out of this thinking because you can't win it. He because uh we can't win it all by themselves. Can't win it all by themselves. And, and, and like you said, they need to. As I told you the other night, they need to grill it up and eat whatever little beast they got going on and come on out here and get these doves, man. Yeah, well, they're, they're winning in spite of that. So I mean, I mean, that, they they do need to come together. I'll give you that. I, I I think it would be great to see that. But I just, you know, we we there's no, there's no way for us to effectively know what we see on the court. You know, is and, and we can assume from that. But I mean, we we don't really know, man, for certain. Uh, I, um, Mr. Zod, Mr. Zod, you said they still they, they that still that's still that still doesn't mean they don't kick behind closure. Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. Luca, Luca, from the past two seasons, I've been learning he's very shy and reserved and keep to himself. Like this is him. Like uh, it's been a couple times. Like after a game, if like uh, I remember this one San Antonio game, uh, Luca got mad. I think it's before KP even got there, but you know he missed a free throw and cost him the game. And he went to the he went downstairs in the uh, it's a basketball court underneath the uh, AAC, uh, underneath. Right, that they practice on or whatever. Man, he went down there and shot free throws the whole night, the rest of the night. So when I, I'm saying like he when he when he gets to the mood or whatever, like if he misses a shot like that after a game, you know he come to the locker room. He goes straight to the he going straight to the court to try to make sure it don't happen again. I think that next game he came out and he was on fire after he uh after he did that one night. I mean that I mean that that's fine. I mean I mean, that's what, when you want to be great, that's what you do. But I mean, yeah, I, think, I, I don't know that 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 is the determination. I want to say that was before. I want to say that was before KP. Uh, I want to say that was before they got here. I want to say he was before KP got here. I, I think that might. I think that might have still been. Doing, it was right after a San Antonio game. It was on a Thursday night, and he missed a free throw that cost him the game. And he yeah. and he got he got mad. And I remember we came in the locker room. And they was like, they came out. He's like. Hey guy, uh, Luke is not gonna uh, talk tonight. Okay, uh, he's down in the uh, he's down on the court shooting free throws right now. And I was like, okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig that. And uh, last year, um, KP was going through the issue where everybody's called him soft. Yeah, and he wanted to make sure that wasn't his notion. Like he, I remember uh, Courtney Lee yelled something across the locker room, and he goes, uh, he goes, uh, hey, softy, can you hear me something? And KP looked at him like, you talking to me? And they all laugh like, yeah. He's like, okay, okay. I'm just checking to see. I'm just checking to see. <laughs> <It's eight. laughs> checking his demeanor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. But, but, uh, but since we're talking about Luca, since we since we did all this, let's listen to his post game interview because I got him queued up next right here too. Let's see what he had to say. Thank you, Luca. Uh, we will start with. Kelly Kaplan. Kelly? Hey, Luca. Actually, a non-game-related question for you, but you had talked a couple weeks ago at All-Star Weekend about not knowing a lot about Top Shot, but being interested in learning about it. I'm curious if you've gotten a chance to look into that and see how your moments and your highlights are doing. Uh, not yet, but Mark keeps texting me that I got to register, so uh, I'll do it soon. Thanks. All right. We'll go to Kevin Gray. Kevin? Hey, Luca. 30 assists tonight on 51 made field goals. How did you feel about the team sharing the basketball tonight and the energy moving the basketball on the offensive end? Uh, yeah, I think it was great. Uh, we came. I think uh, the second half was way better, you know. Uh, but I think we shared the ball great. Uh, we played great basketball, and we played good defense. All right. Davide? Hi, Luca. Um, my question is about Manly. You obviously played against him in Europe, even in a EuroLeague final, and I'm curious about how it is to 
play now with him with the Mavs? I mean, it's going to be great. You know, he's an amazing player. Uh, he's a great person. You know, we uh, connect from the first moment. You know, I know Europeans connect better, but you know, he's a, a good person for the locker room. And you saw today he was playing amazing basketball. And it's tough to play the first game with a new team, and he was playing great. All right, thanks, Luca. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. This is media. <laughs> hey, that dude does not like talking to media, bro. I'm let you know that right now. That dude does not like talking to media. Boy, he appreciates the interview, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, it was one night. It was one night they had one, and he kept, he was walking towards the studio, and he looks at uh, his name Scott. He goes, "Do I have to do media tonight?" And he was like, "Yeah, you got to do me." He's like, "Man, come on, man." He's like, "Yeah, you got to do it." Yeah, more, he, yeah, he just more. not like to do media. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, though. I tell you what, though. He, I got somebody who you need to hear from right now. Okay, this is the new Maverick condition right here. Okay, first time right here on the on this post game show. We got him. We got Melly right here. Melly, I think we already called him Melly Mail. Oh God. Or uh, I seen some people uh, doing a little Wayne Melly Melly a uh, uh, Melly a uh, Melly a uh, Melly a uh, Melly. Uh, Melly. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit the I'm just gonna hit the button right. Now. Okay, Davide, um, in Italy, this one's going to be in Italian. Start us off. Ciao Nicolò, congratulazioni per la nuova avventura. E volevo chiederti le sensazioni del debutto con Dallas e cosa ti aspetti da questa, da questa nuova avventura. No, sono contento di, di essere qua, mi sembra un ottimo gruppo. Sono qua ovviamente solo da, da due o tre giorni, quindi però le, le sensazioni sono molto positive, mi hanno accolto molto bene. Uh, e cosa mi aspetto? Niente, di divertirmi fondamentalmente, eh, spero di avere eh, opportunità per, per giocare eh, e se le avrò di, di dare una mano alla squadra per, per migliorare e raggiungere gli obiettivi che, che hanno. Ok, uh, back to English with Callie Kaplan, Dallas Morning News. Hey, welcome to Dallas, or welcome to Dallas eventually. Um, curious, how does it feel to get to play with Luca now as opposed to against him a few years ago in the EuroLeague? Yeah, actually better to have it on, on the team than now uh, playing against him. Uh, no, you know, is Luca is one of a, of a kind. He's uh, is a special player, and uh, it makes it makes it easy for everybody. Like also my first shot, he just passed he passed a shot, an easy shot for him, just to put me put me in rhythm. So you know, it's easier to play with him. All right, Dwayne Price, Mavs.com. Uh, yes, Melly, how did it feel out there your first game with the Mavericks this season? It felt good. It felt good. I'm happy to be on this team. I like the group. And, uh, you know, I, I was glad to have the opportunity to play. But it felt good. Uh, you know, it's a very group, a good group of guys. And uh, but it felt very good. All right. And Corey? Hey, Nico. So, so tonight, tonight look. You know, like you have played with this team for a while and just your first game. So how did it feel seeing that first basket go in? So good. So good. As a basketball player, you want to see your ball going in the basket. So it felt good. Uh, as I said, it felt good to be out there, play with them. Um, they welcomed me very uh, in a very nice way, and uh, they're a very good group. So, you know, it felt very good. All right. Thank you, Nico. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate the time. Thank you. What do you think about that, Billy? What do you think about that? I, I'm, still, I'm still trying to understand. Like, <laughs> we get three questions and they were all the exact same question. What, what were they about? What, were the same? what do you mean, Billy? What were the questions the same about? Man, oh, I, the, the same comment. Hey, uh, uh, Melly, how does it feel to play play with Luca on your team? Uh, how, uh, how does it feel to play with Luca? <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, hey, Melly, how's your, uh, how's your first game in Dallas? What's wrong? Isn't that the same damn thing? Then the last person, I forget what his name was, he comes on, and he asks a stupid question talking about uh, what did Luca uh, – what, what did he say? He said, uh, oh, you – uh, you look like you've been playing with this team forever. Really? Off of like five or six minutes? What did we talk about? <laughs> Who make... Man, listen. I'm telling you, man. They... <laughs> listen. If you want some questions asked, 
just let me know, man. Give me about thirty minutes, man. I'll get some. You want to go to the, you want to go down the AAC and answer questions? And really? I'll walk in that room and get. Some, I'll walk in that room, come out with some information. Okay, what they're <laughs> doing out there, they're playing games, man. We got to really start being careful about what the, we're doing with these credentials out here, man. Because because there's okay. a lot of <laughs> look, Shane, Bobby. You know, everybody that watches this show, you know, Raccoon Squad, you know, just everybody that watches this show, man, they deserve to have answers. And we can't get answers when we're asking silly questions like that. You look like you've been out here. You look like you've been playing with this team for a long time. What, based off of six minutes? Like, what are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah Billy. Yeah, we're, they're, excited. they're excited about having here. Why aren't you show? Sure? Why don't you have the same statement? Man, listen. I, look, I ain't here to hate on nobody. Get, get. If you in there, you in there, man. But don't, you know. Come on, man. There's people who are oh, we're wasting time. I see what this is. I see what we got to do here. So we got to get you. You campaign to get down there to the AAC when this thing opens back up. Hey, man. Listen, I, I'll have to get off in there, man. I'll, I'll come with some questions. I'll, I, I got some. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You got some to be I'm not afraid. I'll, I'll come with some questions. I'll ask the, the real questions. Okay, all this little lollipop stuff, you know, pussy roll, all this. We, we can't do all this, man. You need somebody that's going to go in there and ask the tough question and get chewed out. It's okay. Just get the answer. You know, what are we doing? You don't have to be a baby everything, man. They're grown-ass men who are multimillionaires. You don't have to baby them, man. Talk to them. I do love how, <laughs> how he says – Hey KP or somebody name it and wait for them to acknowledge it. Like, bro, just get to the question. Yeah, just say they're, what not, you do. they're not your friends, they're not your buddies. Just yeah, get to they're, the they're, they're not gonna be like, what's good, bro? Good to see you and stuff. That they don't care. They really don't want <laughs> you. I mean, so we gotta stop this, man. Gosh. Yo, put Billy in there for real. They wouldn't let him back in one here because Billy gonna ask the real. Yeah, oh, you yeah. gonna get our credentials. You'll get our credentials. Oh, yeah. Uh you can get our credentials taken away like a mug, man. No, you know, I'm not gonna go in there and cut up and everything. I'm just gonna ask, I'm gonna ask real questions, man. I mean, yeah, I'm getting an email from Scott the next morning. Yeah, so the guy you sit in here, uh <laughs> well, you Renee, know, Renee, Renee, Scott, it, it, Scott Renee, Scott Renee, and uh what's the name gonna be uh looking at me like, well, well, hold on, we gotta have a conversation. No, well, you know what, man? Here's the thing, this is what you do, man. You build a rapport with the people. With I, I don't know these people like that, but you know. You find out who they are. You go in there more than once, and you start building a rapport with them or whatever, man. And then you, you know, you can get away with stuff. We're not trying to do anything crazy. We're just going to ask the real questions. I'm not going yeah, in there, Al play, buddy. Alan, Alan, Scott, Renee, and Dave will, will be will be sending me emails uh, simultaneously. I'll let you go in there. <laughs> Look, just know what you're getting when you go in there. You want to? You want some answers? I'm coming out with them, guaranteed. You well, I tell you what, here's a guy right here that if you ask him a stupid question in the locker room, he'll let you know about it. He don't play that in the locker room. You got Timmy. THJ right here. Yeah, Timmy right here. He don't play, he don't play about asking dumb questions in the uh in the locker room. I, I've seen him go off on a couple people. So here, here he is. We'll start with any step code. Thank you. All right. Tim, uh, I saw some graphic on the uh telecast tonight that I think you guys might be like 12 and three in the last uh, 15 games when KP and Luca are both on the court and you guys pretty much have your full complement of players. Are, are you starting to get the feeling like something good is going on here? And, and uh, you know, the, 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 is the, is the positive vibe starting to, to roll a little bit? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you can say that. And, just those guys are starting to uh, <clears throat> starting to click on all starting to click on all cylinders uh, uh, at a right at the right time, you know, in the season. And uh, just those guys that are, are around them are just trying to do the best we can to uh, make sure we make their life a lot easier out there on the floor. So we're happy, you know, when the when them two are out there, we know we have a better chance of winning ball games, and uh, just just want to make sure they stay stay healthy and locked in. All right, Dwayne Price. Yes, Tim, uh, what did you think of, of the play of uh, Melly out there tonight? He's great. Moves great with the ball, without the ball, with the ball. Um, defensively, he can switch on to anybody, um, move his feet well. Uh, you can tell he has a, a different type of a, a step in, in his game right now, uh, just playing with us and going out there and um, playing freely. Uh, that's what we wanted from him. We want him to be aggressive, knock down shots when open, 
drive the ball when he needs to and make plays. So uh, when he was out, out there on the floor, he, he looked really, really comfortable and we're happy. All right, Kevin Gray. Hey, Tim, obviously in the midst of a five-game road trip, the longest of the second half of the year, what do wins like this do for you and your team as far as confidence is concerned when you're out on the road for this long? Um, it, it helps out a lot. You know, it makes the, the road trip uh, that uh, much more uh, uh, better while we're uh, all together. Like I said before, all this road trip, all we have is ourselves out here on the uh, when we're on these uh, road trips, and we got to do a great job of, just staying locked in, staying poised, and staying in the moment and not looking uh, ahead. Um, so as long as we continue to do that uh, throughout this this whole road trip, uh, we should finish off on a positive note. All right, Corey. Hey, Tim. Solid performance tonight. Congrats on the win. So how proud are you of how the team played tonight? Uh, it's great. Um, we could have done a lot more things better. Um, um, habit wise, uh, I don't think we did a great job in the first half. Um, we gave them too many, uh, easy opportunities, too many, uh, looks at the rim and, and, uh, they were playing downhill the whole first half. So we just wanted to come out of the halftime, buckle down and the coaches challenged us. Um, and it shouldn't be that way. I think, you know, you gotta give OKC credit, uh, playing the guys they played, they played hard, they played together. And, uh, but, uh, for us, we're just focusing on ourselves out there for the most part. Uh, we got to do a better job of just staying locked in and making sure that uh, when the shots goes up, we limit guys to one-shot opportunities and and uh, go out and fill the lanes when we can. Uh, one more from Eddie. Yeah, have you had a chance to talk to anybody up in Michigan about uh, the run they're on? And uh, what do you think about the job? Uh, uh, Joan is doing and the, and the team is doing up there. Joan, you know, he's done a heck of a job. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great sight to see. Uh, pretty sure, you know, down the road, he'll be up and back in the, in the pro professional level coaching uh, in no time. Uh, he deserves it. But in the meantime, I'm happy that he's, that he's at Michigan and I'm happy that he's doing a heck of a job uh, with those guys. Uh, he got those guys playing together, playing well, uh, defending and attacking on the offensive end of the floor. So um, I'm happy. I know Trey is happy. I know Karis is happy. And I know the rest of the Michigan alum is happy. So um, as long as they keep doing what they're doing, uh, we'll see ourselves in the final four. All right. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. What, man? What? What is the problem? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I, 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 wish, I, I wish I wish I was trying so hard to put you on the screen when that question came through with the look you put if they could have seen the look you put on your face when that question came out. It, 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 it wasn't the, the Michigan one, it was the one before. No, it was the one before. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the one before. I forget what it, it, it was like what, what, I forget. How proud how proud are you? Uh uh the, how, how proud of you are on how the team played tonight? <laughs> Like, this is this is the best we could come up with, man. All the things that are going on, all of the things that we have to look forward to as Mavericks fans, and it feels like everybody asked the exact same question. They just worded it differently. Uh, boy, you had boy, you had it. You had it in a wet hand right there, boy. You had yeah. you it. Yeah. Here you go. Hey, hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. You know after. Hey, hey Tim. Uh, what what do you what do you uh, what do you attribute to? Your, <laughs> hey Tim, what do you attribute to your uh, your ability to uh, to be consistent as a six man for this team? That's a good question. People want to know. Okay, how are you? How are you doing this? How are you maintaining? How do you stay in the flow from going into the starting position, from being a uh, not a role player but a six man? Uh, not always getting all the shot opportunities. How do you find a way to be consistent with that? These are questions. They need to be asked. <laughs> hey Tim, how proud are you of the guys you played with? What do you expect them to say? I hate them. Like, that <laughs> like I, oh boy, boy, you got it. I swear you hollered in a wet hand right now. Boy, you well, I tell you, they listen. Well, that that listen. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. There needs to be some. There needs to be some stuff. 
some training and development going on in that in that media room, man. Somebody's got to. Boy, you you was on one. You was on one tonight. Uh, let's get over here real quick. Okay, so let's round out the rest of the week real quick before we get out of here. So, to uh, Wednesday, they are going to play the Boston Celtics. I wonder if that's an ESPN game. Uh, it is an ESPN game. And then Friday night, they're going to play. They are going to play the New York Knicks at about six thirty. And then okay. on Saturday, on Saturday, at about six o'clock, they're going to play the Washington Wizards. Those those should all be wins. These should all be wins. Yeah, absolutely. Every last one. None, none of these worry you. Not a single one. I don't fear the Boston Celtics. Uh, I, the Washington Wizards don't scare me at all. Russell Westbrook's on that basketball team. Um, <laughs> Damn. So, I mean, the, I like any team that I can play with the hit, the way he's on it, I like my chances because he's going he's gonna to take some ill advised shots and he's going to do some ridiculous stuff. So, and he's going to turn it over. So, we're going to get a chance to get out in transition. So, uh, none of those teams scare me, man. I mean, now the Mavericks are going to have to, and now they can hurt themselves by coming out and not playing their guys. But if they come out and play Luca, KP, and and the normal rotation, and and we show up, and and you know they do with their and they handle business, we should walk out of that uh, w- with those next three games. We should walk away with dubs on those. Get us right back where we want to be. Go subscribe to our YouTube page. Go search BFB DFW or BFB Mavs. You will see. Uh, our page come up. You'll see our post game show. We got all the post game shows that we've done this season up there. We got the Josh Howard interview we did on BFB one night. Uh, yeah. All of us up there. Just go uh, follow the page. You can uh, see all that. Uh, we'll be back here Wednesday night. Our attendance might be a little spotty the rest of this week after on Wednesday. I am flying to Ohio to see my daughter uh, okay. for her birthday. Um, so uh, as I told Billy, don't be surprised if. Uh, if I go live from Ohio after one of these games, uh, that'll be a seven. I'll, it'll be seven o'clock my time, six o'clock your time. So don't be surprised if uh, if you hop up and see uh, see us on here, and I'm and I'm live from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Hey man, <laughs> for our mass post game show, it just you might happen. Know, you can let us. You can let us know what it's like down there, man. What the air is like. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Go see. Uh, go walk around and see uh, where LeBron. Maybe I can run in my guy Baker. Hey, he might Maybe be. Maybe I can run in my guy Baker. Oh, somebody's got a good question for you. Billy, why you mad, bro? <laughs> hey. Uh Kendrick, I'm not mad, bro. I just my thing is, bro, I'm I'm just as as a guy who loves sports and, and a fan, you know, above all else, man. We do this media thing. It's all cool and stuff, man. But at the end of the day, it, it's more enjoyable when you're a fan of the team you're covering and and, and, and so there are certain things that you want to ask. And given the fact that you have an opportunity to ask those things, you should ask those questions. Don't just group yourself in with the same people and ask the same questions. That's why the players don't put no thought into nothing. Cause it's like, you know, if you ever look at it, TAJ and those guys, they give just generic answers. Luca gives generic answers. I mean, yeah, we play hard and we pass the ball and we do this because nobody's asking anything to make them think. They have like preset automated responses because they know you're not going to challenge them with anything, man. And that's what makes it boring, man. Just step your game up. That's all I'm asking. Step your game up. You want to learn how to ask some questions? Let me get in that room. I'll show you. You want to get in the room? You want to get in I'll that get, room? I'll get in that damn room. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll come Again. out with some stuff. Hey, listen, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely have some clips available on the radio, okay? <laughs> ESPN radio, who they'll, they'll all have some clips. I, I, they'll all have some clips. Go follow our YouTube page, BFB DFW or BFB Mass. Click on one of the shows. Subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Share, tell your friends about our channel. Tell your friends to tune in to us. We do this after every Maverick game. And like I said a few minutes ago, there's talks of a Cowboys post game show uh, this yeah. season. That's how high of a commodity we are right now. 
Uh, it, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to see it. I, uh, I, you know, I'm glad that we're uh, getting ready to shut this one down, man. Looks like Kevin Durant still in my DMs. He, he's the, he's Kevin, going to answer before midnight. What you going to work like? He's going to answer before midnight. <laughs> that, so I, I'm going to have to have some thought. I'm going to have to call my kids, call my family and stuff and see how they feel about it. But you might be packing up and going and going uh, going to Brooklyn. What you think they got for you over there in Brooklyn? I don't know, man. I I, I, I prefer now. Listen, I'll tell you what. If Ring James, I know he's not that kind of guy, but if Ring James was to call me, I'm making that move over there where Ring James is. That's where I'm going. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just KD's in my DMs hitting me up and asked me to come to Brooklyn to join him. So, uh, I'm just trying to, you know, he, he, he he's, he's taking them all, man. He's taking them all. So, uh, you do you know. think a guy like you can thrive in uh, can thrive yeah. in Brooklyn? Not with those type of guys because I, I like to compete, I don't like the lollygag, I like to compete. So, so I we're not built the same, we're not built the same. At all. What do you mean? What do you mean you're not built the same? We're just not built the same. I I don't want to go join all the top radio guys. I want to compete against <laughs> the top radio guys. And if I fall short, that's okay. It's a lesson. It's a lesson learned. I can get better from that. There's nothing I can get better from just being around all the great guys and just sit there and and you know, yeah, we 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 were the top show or whatever, but I don't put nothing towards it. I'm just there. No, nah, man. No, nah, I'd rather compete. I want to beat the top guy. You know, our, our great friend Gavin, man, the general, I loved what he said when he was on our show that night and, and we were talking and we, we were giving him credit for being in the top five. And he said, you know, he's tired of being in the top five. He wants that number one spot. That's the type of competitive nature I'm talking about. It's not okay to just sit there and be like, oh, yeah, okay, we're in the top five. Okay, we're better than all these other people. But you're not better than the man. You know, in order to be the man, you got to beat the you man. You got to beat them, and that's what Rick Flair quote. Woo! Yeah, so that's what we're trying to do, man. Kevin I Durant think a guy like you would do good in 718, man. I think a guy like you would do good in 718 or the 917. Man, that's that's not my style, man. I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a guy that likes to hang on to the coattails of other other people. Well, like well, you know me. You know me. I'm connected out here in the streets, and I just got a photo that was sent to me. Of uh of KD working the phones and he's in your in your DMs right now. I got a photo of there he is right there. <laughs> 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 there he is. He waiting on you. He looked hey, at his phone. Man. He waiting on you to respond, Billy. <laughs> Come on, KD. Come on. He waiting on you to respond right there, Billy. Yeah, he, he waiting on you to respond. He's checking his phone. He's scrolling, man. And hey, listen, he's got to just calm down, man. Let me, <laughs> let me have some time to think it over with my family, man. Let me have some time. Please. Oh, come on, man. You got to give him an answer right now, man. Look at him. He's, str he's, he's studying that phone, man. He can't get an answer, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn KD, boy. <laughs> waiting. He, he waiting by the phone, Billy. We'll be back here Wednesday night. We'll see if Billy has answered KD's. Uh, if he's answered his D is what? KD's still over there looking. They, 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 they say he's still looking, Billy. He say he ain't looked up yet. But, yeah, we'll be back here. We'll be back here. Uh, we will be back here uh, Wednesday night when the Mavs take on the uh, the Boston Celtics. And uh, like we always say, always do his best for business. And if we don't see you around, then we'll see you around. Wait a minute, Billy. You got one more. He's still waiting on you. He's still waiting. <laughs> you know, walked out to the floor. Waiting on you, <laughs> KD. I'll have an answer for you by midnight. Man. I might even put it up he on Facebook. He walked out on the floor looking for you. He walked out on the floor looking for you, man. Can't hey, find. Man. Hey, you know, to all of our listeners, man, out there, I tell you what. If I'm still up by midnight, man, I might make a decision. I might do that. I might do that Darren Williams thing that he did uh, years back, where he just posted on Twitter. I'm just gonna yeah. put up a logo. <laughs> put up a logo. Hey, <laughs> hey. For me, for me, don't even do that. Just type in uh what's it, 718? Yeah, <laughs> just put 718. Just put 718 or 917, baby. I know exactly where you're coming hey, from. I'm just gonna put up an area code, guys. You guys can look it up. I'll put it up on Twitter later or first thing in the morning <laughs> while I'm having my coffee. I will make a decision within the next 12 hours for sure. Katie, Katie, wait, man. You can't, even get, you can't get away from it, man. Oh man, wait, he done went back in the locker room waiting on you, Billy. He's still <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We'll be back Wednesday night, man. Hey, if we don't see you around, then we'll see you around. All right, guys. <laughs>